I grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. It was me, my brother, and my mom. Sixth grade year, I moved up an hour and a half north of Atlanta to Pickens County. They had the, the middle school football team, and me and my brother joined it. We had all the support in the world. Coaches would keep us humble, make sure we're working. I always had my mom and my dad there supporting us and letting us know how good we really are in football. My grandpa would record every game in college. And I got recruited from Minnesota. Playing and being around my teammates and things like it was it was amazing. Junior year is honestly where I felt like my depression and anxiety started kicking in. I tore my first ACL in practice. I remember uh, laying down, I remember crying a little bit. I just heard a big pop. So one of my teammates grabbed my phone because I was getting ready to call people and let them know, you know, I just tore my ACL. So when I grabbed my phone, my Uncle Pat, and he was blowing my phone up. He told me that my mom was in the emergency room and like she's not looking good and she, she just stopped breathing. A few days after the funeral, I ended up leaving back up here to college. So I'm working hard every day, you know, battling mentally and physically. Going into my senior year, first game back, broke off for a run. I went to make a cut, boom, tore my right ACL. Something right there wasn't right on that last Four or five months out of my second ACL being torn, boom, I retore my right ACL. So I tore both of my ACLs three times within 10 months. After that, honestly, I was done. My whole life, who have I been? A football player, like this is all I've been doing. I just didn't know what to do, I was lost. We had this train that runs right behind the apartment. And I remember I literally just started thinking about all the bad stuff. All of these things are literally just flowing in my head and it got to a point to where I was like, I don't wanna be here anymore. And I literally remember saying that I wanted to go be with my mom. The next thing I know is like, I'm this close to this train and it's just moving. Like I'm literally this close, like staring at this train. And I remember like waking up, like something snapped me out of it. I told myself like, what are you doing? As soon as I go to turn away from the train, it smacks me right in the head. I literally popped up off the ground, like nothing happened. I remember looking in the mirror and I was like, whoa, two teeth knocked out. My lip was hanging like all the way down here. My face was super swollen. I was just bleeding everywhere. And I was speechless. I couldn't even say anything. I didn't even say a word. We called the ambulance. And as soon as I laid down, I just passed out. Sunday, I woke up that morning. I remember being so lost. I didn't know who to turn to. And I'm a man of faith. You know, I believe in God. And the only person that I could turn to was him because I know he's gonna have an answer for me that nobody else can give me. So I got a text from my best friend and the message from my best friend says, I love you brother and you're still here for a reason. You have a purpose, you're not done yet. I truly believe that my purpose on earth is to tell my story. I wanna be there for athletes. When they feel like the sports are over and it's coming to an end, I wanna be there to let them know that they're more than just athletes.